Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news. Following yesterday's concerns expressed by the JTA's president on a cut in the education budget, the Minister of Finance and the Public Service, Dr. Nigel Clark, wishes to assure the public that there is no cut in the expenditure on education in the third supplementary estimates. The minister said the Ministry of Education, Youth and Information is procuring $1.8 billion to purchase laptops for PATH students and has engaged the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology to purchase these laptops. This, he says, is a practical arrangement undertaken with the aim of speed and efficiency, as the Ministry of Science has the experience and the relationships with suppliers to undertake this activity at scales and on relatively short notice. The Finance Minister further stated that to implement this plan, the Education Ministry is transferring approximately $1.8 billion to the Science Ministry to acquire the laptops for PATH students, and this does not by any means represent a cut to the spend on education. Still tonight, the Jamaica Promotions Corporation, Jampro, has recently signed a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with the Caribbean Chamber of Commerce in Europe. The MOU is aimed at facilitating joint activities between the organizations to increase trade and commerce between Jamaica and the UK, Europe, and to promote European investments in Jamaica. The CCCE and JAMPRO MOU is said to be a one-year agreement that will focus on projects in key sectors for Jamaica, including agriculture, agribusiness, creative industries, energy, global digital and ICT, and knowledge services, logistics and infrastructure, and manufacturing. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Shelly Ann Hill. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.